on my way down to the sauna right now. I've had some questions. I better stop before I kill myself. I've had some questions about the electrical system, the solar, and how it's wired and the lights, how they're wired and everything. So I'm going to go down here and uh, make a quick video of how it's all done. And uh, if somebody wants to do something similar to it, then they'll have an idea what to do. So we're on our way down. See you there. Man, that's a beautiful day. Okay, the sun in the winter time sits pretty low. Okay, in the summertime it's up higher. It comes up over there and goes down over here. So you can see my panel is, is facing a little bit southeast uh, more than, than south, which would give us more time and sunlight if I pointed it straight south. In the wintertime, there's not many leaves, so we could get that. In the summertime, these trees are full of leaves, so I'm looking at this little window right here that I capture my, my power from. The panel itself is Renogy future of clean energy I got this off from Amazon I think I said that in a previous video it's been a while though and I know you probably can't see any of this stuff up inside here but uh, let's see here optimum operating voltage is 17.5 volts I think that's a key thing and I see it watts max power is 20 watts so it's a 20 watt panel my spider webs up behind here so this is just a TV mount uh, from an old small TV mounted it on here so that I could pivot this and swivel it however I wanted to this wire right here is uh, hooked into the panel right here in this box comes up and comes over and we have a splice this splice is to the charge controller when I bought this stuff it all came together so this fit perfect to fit right into the charge controller. So on the inside, I just took these wires and drilled a small hole and passed them up through here and they go right into the charge controller. We'll go inside and I'll show you I'm that. On the inside of the sauna right now, that black wire that I showed you outside comes in up inside here, I'll show you in a moment. But it comes in and comes down to the charge controller. This little picture right here is a solar panel. This picture here is the battery, and this little picture is your lights. This tells how much battery power you have. That last LED has never lit. Well, it's just barely flickering. Look at that. I have a little short in it. When I push it, it does. Anyways, it tells you if it's charging, you load on it, and this is where you hook all of your wires. So, positive and negative up here. Positive and negative, that's these two black wires that are going into the, the charge controller from the panel that I showed you outside. Now, the battery has these two wires, positive and negative. They come from the battery up top. And then the light is these last two. And the light has one wire that comes over to the switch, and that is this red one. It hooks in on one side of this switch that has three switches built in. So that's making this whole side hot, okay? This over here has three wires and basically one of each of these goes to each light. So this top one goes with this switch right here. I hit it on and we have light right up here. Turn it off, okay? Same thing over there, second switch, we've got light. So just a quick recap. Power outside from the panel comes into the control box. The battery comes into the control box. And then the red one for your lights comes to one side of your switch. The black one to your lights is up in the attic, and I'll show you that in a minute. Right here is three wires going one to each light. Outside left light, outside right light, and inside the sauna light. All right, let's go up there and little space I got and I'll show you how it comes up out of here and from the battery above the control box. Set up. Now I think I can give a pretty good uh, 
idea of how it's working we can see everything from one spot it's going to be a little bit of moving back and forth so uh, just bear with me basically the battery is up top here in the corner I'll climb up and show you better in a minute and that's the charge controller I was just showing you here's our switch and we got our lights okay all these lights are going to be the same way up there these two are LEDs they have a small wire on them and the one inside has a, a bigger uh, regular electric wire on it um, didn't come with the little pigtails those little LEDs did so okay so I told you already the panel outside comes into the charge controller over there the battery that's upstairs here right over here in the corner also goes to the charge controller so that's the one in the back for the panel to the charge controller these two wires right here I think I need that light these two wires right here positive negative from the battery to the charge controller and these two right here in my hand are coming from the charge controller where it has the little light symbol positive and negative positive right here goes down to the switch on the left hand side of the switch right there all right the negative bear with me climbing up and down here the negative comes over and comes over to where I have all my splices done and that is the negative that all of the lights are hooked into so the negative wire from the light over here the negative from the light on this side and the, the sound of light itself goes down through here down through the the wall and comes out the negative off from that one as well is all hooked to the negative for the light that comes off the charge controller then I have three jumpers coming off the other side of the switch two of them are inside of this wire and one of them I stripped out okay they're gonna be coming off from the right hand side of the switch those are these three wires right here one two three okay so the switch is completing your circuit whenever you turn the light on you get a light okay so the red in one side three jumpers in the other those jumpers are coming back up here one of them is hooked up to this light over here so when you turn the switch on that that works that light this one over here works this light over here this is the wire that's <laughs> snow just came off the roof this is the wire that comes from the uh, the second switch the white one it should be in the middle down there because this is the second light over here on this side and then the uh, last one this black one goes to the the white on the switch that's in the sauna so that's it okay so a quick recap really a quick one charge controller solar panel to charge controller battery to charge controller light from charge controller red one down to the switch black one to the negatives on the light I did this because I have a more than just a regular one-way switch or one light bulb running out of there I have three switches in one basically and then three wires coming off from the other side of that switch all of the grounds hooked together the three wires coming off from the right hand side of the switch one gets hooked to each one of your lights this one's running over there this one's running behind me and this one's running for the uh, light in the sauna so that's the basic setup that I have uh, I have it run to those three switches because it is a solar system I don't necessarily want to hit one switch on and turn three lights on especially if I'm not inside the the sauna I'm just drawing on my battery for no reason so the three switches is you can have one of those lights on outside here they swivel a little bit so if you're sitting there reading a book 
uh, just myself or just my wife down here I can turn it on just one light sit there and read and hang out when I get ready to go inside the sauna I can shut that off turn the other one on um, at the same time that battery has plenty of power to run you know probably all day long for those little LED lights so uh, I don't I don't have, really have to worry about it but that was my thought when I did it was one switch for each one of the lights and that's why this is set up like that so if you do one single switch then your wiring will be a little bit different but uh, you can just look up basic wiring for a switch that's pretty simple um, but doing more than one bulb uh, off from this setup that's how I did it so I hope this helps out I hope uh, you know it gives you guys some some ideas um, if anybody's out there trying to do the same thing maybe you can twist it a little bit tweak it and make it work for yourself um, and I appreciate you watching.